Hi hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna introduce a free video editing software that you can use for your windows. The software is called Mini 2 Movie Maker. Just for your information, this software is only available on Windows. But if you are like me, a uh, Mac OS user, you probably can use you know, VMware Windows to run this software, like what I'm doing right now. If you want to know how to run Windows on Mac OS, you can check my video up here. Okay, I have a separate video to, you know, guide you step by step on how you can set up Windows on Mac OS. And then you can, you know, run this uh, mini tool movie maker later on your uh, VMware Windows. Hey guys, if you don't know me, I'm Potter Worth. I make uh, different videos on app review, unboxings, photography, and filming tips. Be sure to subscribe to this channel to get more useful videos in the future. Okay, now let me show you quickly how easy it is to use this software. But before jumping into the tutorial, I'd like to thank our main sponsor for this video, which is Mini Tool Software LTD. Check out the link in this video description to learn more about the company as well as to download this free editing software. Okay, now let me show you quickly on my computer. Before getting you how to use the software, let me just show you a video sample that I used the software to edit first. Let's enjoy. Okay, so now I'm on window. As you can see, this is Mini Tool Movie Maker. So you have to download and then uh, you can install it. It needs about five to 10 minutes to get all the package uh, downloaded and installed. So the first time you launch the software, you get all of these. So you can start the new project immediately, open project, the project that you have saved or movie templates so you can get started with the uh, ready-made templates there are a bunch of templates you can use like wedding slideshow travel you can play uh, the preview to see what it look like yeah something like that and if you like it you can just start directly from that okay so you don't have to worry about how to work on you know editing the video so the templates are there but if you like me I love you know using my own styles my own way so I can just start with a new project so click on new project this is what you see so let me just tell you very quickly what are all of these so on the left you can see over here you have media transition effect text and motion and in the middle here is a preview the screen that you can you know uh, see the preview of your videos that you're working on on the right here is the um, it's like uh, more settings I will just show you in a minute so down here is the timeline where you can uh, drop videos uh, music as well as the text so you can uh, work on your video on the uh, timeline here and then you will see your video preview in the screen over here okay now let's get started with media first so I have already import you know four videos onto uh, my media so in case you haven't got your videos you click on video you can see the word import media files so click on that and yeah find your videos where you store okay and then just you know select and then open so I have got my videos there so what I have to do next you can just click plus you see that the plus now the video is added onto my timeline for music it's the same you can import uh, media files and you got like about nine medias available for you as well but I'm not gonna use all of these because I'm afraid that it might be uh, you know 
uh, copyright issue later so this is the media i've got from the uh, sound stripe if you want to know and learn more about sound stripe you can check in this video description you get some percentage discount through the link in this video description so click plus okay now i've got the videos i got the clips all i have to do is to select where i want to cut out because the clip is quite long so I'll, i can play the preview over here problem is that i don't want to have the built-in music along you know in the video so all i have to do is to click this one mute or when i click on the uh the video the clip on the timeline you can see on the right here we have video property you can adjust the video effects like uh, contrast saturation and brightness you can even add 3d LUT if you have on your computer for example I apply gravity yeah, this is how it look like I change to Star Wars okay so let's go with this one then rotation if there is some issue with your videos speed of the video so I keep it a uh, one X yeah, it's a normal speed audio I already uh, muted it yeah that's all you have for the video property so next all I have to do is to scroll to where I want to cut out the part that I don't like so I scroll like this and you see this uh, scissors uh, icon click on that it's split click on the video and you can right click and delete or you see the rubbish bin here boom it's gone okay, press this one to split so now I have four different clips as you can see and in the middle here this is where you can apply the transition so now let me just apply different transitions uh, between different clips so let's go to a transition and you can see we got like 97 transition so you can choose one of those you know so you get this uh, preview as well when you just hover your mouse onto the uh, transition you get to see the preview what it look like yes that's amazing right so I like this one so I drag it and I put it over here so now you can see that and I click on uh, the transition here I get the transition property so you get duration transition mode like overlap prefix postfix whatever you want so you can choose between uh, three of the choices for example if you have lots of clips onto your timeline you don't need to drag one by one if uh, you like this transition and to have the transition to uh, to be applied for all your clips you can just get this one apply to all it's pretty fast right okay now I've got three different transitions apply between each clip next I'd like to introduce you guys to the effect so the effect is like uh, the preset of the colors for the videos so the first clips I already apply with the lot so now let's take a look at this this looks nice as well sunset uh, maybe drag it and put it onto the clip so now I got uh, the effects you know apply onto this clip and again you can adjust more uh, setting in the video property you can adjust uh, contrast saturation brightness yeah so effects is sunset so i have uh, applied this one i can apply this kind of you know effect to all the clips i have the next one i like to talk about is the text so you can add text onto your clips yeah maybe i like this one drag it and put it on the top of the clips or the videos so now i have the text here And next I would like to uh, mention and introduce to you guys is the motion just look at the motion drag it onto the clip you see I've got the motion so motion here is a little bit different from transition okay so now let's add the last text the title over here yeah maybe click on this one yeah drag it here I delete this one then and then uh, yeah one more here you can, we can use uh, transitions to zoom in yeah like this 
So apply. Okay, the last one that I want to tell you is about the music. So click on the music and then you can see music property. Just increase the fading, which means the sound will be uh, from the very low volume and to the normal volume. And I click on the second uh, music and I use the fade out. Okay, now it's time to export to save this project into video. Click on export and then choose between PC or device. So go with PC, put the name here, save to where you want to save this video to and you can adjust the resolution of the video by clicking the setting and choose it best or better or good, it depends on how uh, good the quality of the video that you want and press OK. You can see that the size of this video is going to be 47.28 megabyte. Press export. Okay, the video is now exported. You can click on find target. Okay, so the video is here, my family trip V2. So let's enjoy watching how it looks like together. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this video and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this channel if you like to see more useful videos in the future. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next videos. Thanks.